All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today, what we're going to be going into is the Great League, potentially the Ultra League, and we're going to miss out the Master League because we do not have the party to do that as of yet. But as it is just the three normal leagues, there's no Jungle Cup, anything like that, I am interested to see how good these Pokemon that we have got in the recent episodes do in just these normal leagues because there's a lot more Pokemon to deal with. So I'm looking forward to using this. Um, today was supposed to be a pokemon rival lock with nathan however my episode 9 has corrupted which has the rival fight and things like that so we might have to just go over that in a little bit of a smaller detail not too much of an issue but obviously we will be missing part of the episode there so i do apologize for that um we're in a bad spot just because of the Shadow Claw, it's got Hydro Cannon and Ice Beam. We should be able to tank both of these. Yep. Tank that with ease. Okay. I think, though, I, f I forgot how to use this team. So we might have lost here already. Oh, wow. It didn't block that. Interesting. I'm not going to block this. Cresselia is going to die. It's been a while since we used Cresselia as well. Um, the reason I'm letting Cresselia die is just because we have, like, obviously, a Mon to take this down. We'll Hydro Cannon this. They're not going to block it. They're going to keep their shields, so that's fine. I don't think they'll block it anyway. No. Didn't think they would. Nine Tails. They'll probably block these, but this is the Fairy one anyway. So it's not too bad of an issue. I'd be blocking this. But he knows full well my other Pokemon is actually um, fire type. So for Alligator will just be wrecked by... Uh, Talonflame will be wrecked by for Alligator basically. So it's a bad spot to be in for Talonflame. However, we do have... We might actually win this. We do have two shields. He has zero. And we do have Fly. Which should do a lot of damage. Because we do have that attack boost as well. This is one of the great things about Talonflame. It's such a versatile Pokemon to have. And obviously, yeah. So he forfeited that because we was, we actually got through it really easily. Um, what you won't see there straight away is that I'm actually level 20 already. Um, I did forget to record the five extra battles and I was at work and I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to do some PvP. Completely forgot it was level 19 to 20, so I do apologise for that. Um, but I am trying to get further and further, like I said. This is going to get harder and harder from here because people want to get to the legend rank and people have better mons suited for PvP. So, we do have that. I'm going to block this, it'll do more damage on Skarmory because we have already done an attack, so this Skarmory should be dead in the next attack. And there's a reason for this. Whatever he brings out next, we have... Okay, so we're going to swap out here. And that now leaves us with a very interesting couple of fights. So. He has two mons left. Obviously, he hasn't used a shield yet. So, this is probably going to be a shield here. Oh. Okay. I mean, sure. I don't know why you wouldn't have blocked that, knowing you've already lost a mon. And I'm not going to block that, knowing that it's... What a weird thing to do. Like... Hmm... I don't know if he just forgot to, or didn't think I had Hydro Cannon, maybe. Or was he just trying to do this without a shield block? I don't know. No, we're going to save that shield for Talonflame when it comes in. Um, so let's use Flame Charge here. The reason we use Flame Charge is to get that attack boost. Hopefully we have enough for a Fly, too. Okay. 
So that's an attack boost straight away, plus obviously the fly here. So it's not a bad position to be in. Because our next Mon is so tanky. We have a shield. Yeah, this is probably in the bag. Cause we, yeah, there you go. He already left because we were using Grass Knot. And we did have a shield left. So we're actually doing really well. Um, obviously, it'll probably get further, harder and harder the more we go up the elo. Um, but... Yeah, Town Flame seems to be really OP. We've used it. Most of the battles we used it, we've won. Um, Cresselia is OP as well with Psych Psycho Court, Future Sight, Grass Knot. So, yeah. We'll probably do this one last fight and then I'll probably leave this video. Um, and then we'll move on to the episode 10, I think we're just going to go to on the Rival Lock. And I'll put a, a starter to the video to basically say why we're not having a battle because it is a bit of a pain so let's sort this shall we I don't know if he's going to block this think because he probably knows we've got um, future sight yeah just fine no I'm not going to block I'm not just going to leave this if he's got a psychic type move, because it is. Oh, he's got Ice Punch. Even worse. Okay. Uh, Vigoroth. I've not really versed a Vigoroth for a while. So I don't know if this guy's quite low elo. I know we're like 1500 or something, so we're nowhere near like. This guy's level. Um, You know what? No. I'm just going to leave it. He's probably got Night Slash, something like that. Body slam. Right, okay. Some of the moves are a bit, you know, <laughs> weird that are being done. Like, he's just letting his slack off go down. Once again, I'm not going to block this because Cresselia is nearly dead. If it is a body slam, it'll probably kill. It didn't kill. Okay. Town flame, let's just kill this in one go. Lovely. And um, we're not going to use a move straight away. We need to know what the first Pokemon is that he's going to send out. Pelipper, we're going to go straight to for alligator here. Uh, we'll block this. It's probably going to be an ice punch. Oh, it's a thunder punch. Well, I'm glad we blocked that. And I know we could have blocked that, but it's fine. We've got that many attacks built up. We are good. Play a sky attack. Maybe something like that. Maybe aerial ace. Weather ball. Okay. That's a weird one as well. Uh, ice beam he probably won't see coming, so he'll definitely block this. Hydro Cannon. We need to try and take down as much HP as we can on this because we... Um, yeah. Knowing that we've got a Talon Flame at the back. He has a shield left. That's what we've got to remember. He has a shield left. So let's use Fly here. I think we might lose this. I feel like any water type move kills us. Yeah, if this has a water move, we die here. Which is a shame. Um, I could have done probably a bit better. Oh. Oh, Weather Ball killed me as well. I wonder what Weather Ball that could be then. I mean... The one thing I hate about PvP is obviously if you've got a charge move, it does sometimes not register when you're trying to attack it and it just registers a normal attack. So maybe it's because I'm tapping too fast, maybe something like that. It's something to learn. Um, you know what? Let's move into the Ultra League. I'll do one fight in the Ultra League and then we'll leave this video. So uh, let's see what we've got. To be honest, I think this is a good enough team. 
Um, obviously, I'm not going to change the layout. It's a. I wasn't really planning to enter the Ultra League too much, so. We are going in with Giratina. It does have its uh, third move now, so that's really good. Uh, Polyrath, and then. I can't remember the third one. We literally just looked at it. Well, I'm looking to say, whatever comes out first, Swamp It, that's the one. That's a really good starting move for us. Because we are super effective against it, so he won't like this very well. But we'll Hydro Cannon. Getting the quick moves off is really, like, really good. You need to take them shields down really fast. Um, obviously, this guy doesn't want to protect his Steelix. Um, yeah, probably got Earthquake, something like that. Psychic Fangs. I could have tanked that. Easily tank that probably. Uh, so that was a bad move on my part. Let's get this done. Hydro cannon. He did block that one. Okay. Am I gonna block this? Yes, I am. We have no shields left. That is a really big issue. But also not. Because he hasn't really got the moves to deal with us. So let's hydro cannon this. If he blocks this, I feel like he's done the wrong move. Because Steelix isn't going to help him with that much health. Okay. I mean, he has killed Swampert. Maybe it's because he's got a lot of ground weakness. Maybe thunder weakness. Things like that. He didn't even kill us. I should definitely not have blocked the first Psychic Fangs. Okay, so that's the Steelix dead. What's next? Trevenant. Um, you know what? Yeah, why not? Um, this will probably kill us. I forgot he's going to have Power Whip. That's bad on our part. Oh, he's got Shadow Ball. I thought he would have done more than that, to be honest. I definitely thought he'd have Power Whip as a, a Grass-type move to kill us there. Obviously, ice should do a lot to it. Yeah. Now, I have... Obviously, I am still learning the move counts. But he's definitely counting the move counts. Because he knew that we'd have ice, Icy Wind in one more move after that. So, yeah. That was... And we've lost. He's got Night Slash, so we probably lose this from here. Um, and I just used a ghost type move instead of the one I wanted to use, which was Dragon Claw. So that's bad. It's going to do nothing to Greninja because it's a dark type. So this has been a really bad fight for me. Yeah. That's us done. Um, there's nothing we could have done to win that. Maybe if we got the Dragon Claw off. Maybe. But as we didn't do that, um, it was quite a bad fight to be honest. But I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like down below. Comment what teams I should use in the future. Obviously, I'm still trying to get as many teams going as possible. So all your advice does help. And also, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll speak to you all in the next one.